Hello, this is Michael Purser, owner of Rosebud Company, and this is a video summary of the wood floor restoration work that I performed at the Goodrum House here in Atlanta, Georgia on West Paces Ferry Road. The house was designed by Philip Schutze, a Georgia native who would graduated from Georgia Tech in 1912, went abroad and studied abroad, and then returned to New York where he worked for a while and then eventually returned to Atlanta where he joined the prestigious firm of Heinz, Reed, and Adler. During his time there, he was a prolific designer and designed hundreds of residential, commercial, and institutional buildings. And as anyone in Atlanta will tell you, his work, uh, especially residential work, is some of the most highly prized in the city. Goodrum House was built in 1930 for May Patterson Goodrum, the, win the widow of J.J. Goodrum, and it sits prominently on West Paces Ferry Road. It is of the English Regency design, and it became the focal point of her social life and her work towards helping groups that helped others. It's a beautiful home. My involvement in Goodrum House started several years ago after it was purchased by the Watson Brown Foundation and a very serious preservation and restoration effort uh, started. As you can see, the old walnut floors are just showing natural signs of uh, color degradation, mainly from the cleaning products that were used to try and keep the floors looking good. Someone made a very bad choice and the floors suffered as a result. There were other issues with the floor with some damage and areas where hot water pipes were under the wood, but by and large, most of it had to do with the cosmetic look or the physical appearance of the floors. And actually, they're not in that bad a shape. All of the stuff that you're seeing could be resolved and was resolved without too much trouble. It's an overhead shot of the entrance hall showing the damage. This is another type of damage and it's all too frequent and all too familiar. It is damage from high heels. The pock marks were all over the floor. Unfortunately, Goodrum House had a lot of social functions there and the floors suffered as a result. Here you see the oak stair treads. Um, the material that was put down to protect the floors actually kind of worked against it. It did provide some protection, but it also left marks that needed to be removed. One of the things about the walnut floor that was learned was that it was a veneer manufactured by Wood Mosaic out of New York State. And once I took up some pieces that had been put in for temporary uh, repairs and flipped them over, on the back I made a nice discovery and found that there was wormy chestnut there. And that was just a real treat to find. Other damage was just your typical chips and splits. And that's when I brought in my good friend Peter Island, who took his router and cut and trimmed out, he went down three eighths of an inch, and then we took some nice salvaged wood and dropped it in to create a Dutchman. Here's another little split in the entrance hall, and he did the same thing to that. And by the time he was through with it, you can barely even see the uh, replacement wood. The wood that was damaged from the hot water pipe presented us with a different challenge and Peter had to just go ahead and remove that wood and open it up and create a large rectangle that we needed to fill in with replacement wood. And that's when I turned to Joe Olive, my good friend Joe Olive of Olive and Olive. Joe has got a marvelous skill set and he is a real craftsman. And the challenge here was to put the new walnut in so that it would be flush went and level because it could not the floor could not be sanded and Joe did a masterful job and as you can see from the next picture you have a color variation but that color variation will go away in time as the new replacement walnut ages and takes on the color of the older walnut and in this final shot you can see how flush and level he got it Joe did a wonderful job and it was a real treat to work with him I enjoyed it I was able to remove the old finishes with a process I developed 25 years ago known as passive refinishing. I typically use chemicals to remove the old finishes and get down to the bare wood. And as you can see in these photos, the walnut has a very light look when the finishes are removed. However, 
when you start applying the new sealing sealers, clear sealers, it responds very, very nicely. And you get the very attractive look of the age walnut. The floors were sealed, and after that, they were waxed because we knew that that was the way that they had been maintained in the past. The stairs, as I mentioned, were in dire need of some help, and I got the old finishes off, and as you can see, I've started applying the sealer, and the old aged oak responds very nicely. Once the sealers were applied, I put a coating down over it to protect the stair treads. An overhead shot of the foyer shows you how nicely it turned out and the dining room was a real treat because we had several very attractive pieces of wood in the uh, field and some of the graining was just remarkably beautiful. The living room also responded very nicely, came out looking good. And when you get down and look at the wood very closely, you can see the relief patterns of the grain are preserved by using passive refinishing as opposed to sanding it. Goodrum House has a lot of Schutze's finest work as far as detail. The stairs were just stunning. The metal balusters were some of the finest I have ever seen. You walk into the breakfast room and you start seeing the work of Athos Minaboni on the walls and on the ceilings. He was very active in the Atlanta area and here is a relief or a pattern in the dining room where the chandelier will eventually hang. Also in the dining room were some wall murals by Alan Cox. Three of the walls uh, had murals all the way around the room. You had other very fine detail work in the dining room as well. In the other formal rooms on the first floor, you also start walking in seeing the handiwork of Herbert Millard. He and Schutze worked together on a number of projects. He was a very, very renowned wood carver, and there was just an awful lot of it in Goodrum House. This is the end of a stair tread in the entryway. Once we completed our work on the floors, the floors were covered and protected. This allowed other work to come after the wood floor restoration. Workers could come in and use the areas and not do damage to the uh, surface. They also used rooms for storage. This is a library. Underneath that paper is a completely restored wood floor. And this is Chip Miller of Restoration Craftsman Limited working in the uh, dining room doing the restoration work there. He and Steve Tillander uh, were really a uh, fun group to work around. Goodrum House really is a grand dame, not only on West Paces Ferry, but also just in the entire city of Atlanta. Uh, the website is a very well done website and you will learn an, aw learn an awful lot about Goodrum House. I appreciate your time and attention. Take care.